Thank you, thank you. You guys, you guys feel good? Yeah. I, I feel very good too right now, I tell you, man. I've been walking around New York City. Anyone see me? I've been walking around, checking it out. You know, people always trying to hand me out flyers, you know? When someone tries to hand me out a flyer, it's kind of like they're saying, here, you throw this away. <laughs> I have my hair professionally styled backstage. Does it look good? It's not usually this bouncy. <laughs> you know, sometimes people give me gift certificates, man. I think a gift certificate is a bad gift. What's a gift certificate? You take money that was good everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you took a little long on that clap now. I had some extra lines there, but I can't do them. I think turkeys are sellouts, man. I hate turkeys. Like, if you go to the grocery store and you stand in front of the lunch meat section for too long, you start to get pissed off at turkeys. You see, like, turkey ham, turkey pastrami, turkey bologna. Someone just needs to tell the turkeys, man, just be yourself. <laughs> I already like you, little brother. You do not need to emulate the other animals. You got your own thing going. I used to draw you. <laughs> you guys are so generous with the applause, man. I think Pringle's initial intention was to make tennis balls. <laughs> but on the day that the rubber was supposed to show up, a big truckload of potatoes arrived. And Pringles is a laid-back company. They said, cut them up. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I play tennis in L.A. I live in Los Angeles. I play tennis with my friend Doug. The thing that's depressing about tennis is no matter how good I get, I'll never be as good as a wall. All right. I think a lot of people associate long hair with drug use, you know? I wish long hair was associated with something other than drug use, like an extreme longing for cake. <laughs> Strangers would look at me and say under their breath, that guy eats cake. <laughs> He is on butt cake. <laughs> Mother saying to the daughters, don't bring the cake eater over here anymore. <laughs> he smelled like flour. <laughs> Did you see how excited he got when he found out your birthday was fast approaching? <laughs> I go to Amsterdam because the bakery is legal. I got a V-neck shirt on, man. I like V-necks, you know? I like the loose feeling around my neck. My neck is very fragile. I don't wear crew necks. And I hate turtlenecks, man. A turtleneck is like being strangled by a really weak guy. <laughs> All day. This is, this is so unusual to hear so much applause. I think you're trying to trick me and make me think I'm done. <laughs> I, wish they, I wish they made cinnamon roll incense, because I love cinnamon rolls, but I don't always want to open my oven and put a pan in. I'd rather just light a stick than have my roommates wake up with false hopes. All right, now you know what, on the weekends, like when you go to a restaurant on the weekends, it gets very busy, so they start a waiting list. They start calling out names. They say, Dufresne, party of two. Dufresne, party of two. But then no one comes, so they say the name again. Dufresne, party of two. But then no one comes, so they just go on to the next name. Bush, party of three. Well, what happens to the Dufresnes? No one seems to care. 
Who can eat at a time like this? People are missing. You people are selfish. The Dufresnes are in someone's trunk with duct tape over their mouth. And they're hungry. That's a double whammy. We need help. Bush search party of three. I had a roommate in Florida. His name was Eddie. Eddie was kind of slow on the mental draw. I was writing a letter. I had a problem. I said, Ed, how do you abbreviate Arkansas? He said, I don't know. Just start spelling it, then quit. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thank you.